This is being the Rockets. They're going to shoot a lot of threes. You saw that in the first quarter when they shot, made 10 three-pointers. They got off to a great start, and they just cruised the rest of the game. Almost too easy, if you ask me. Joining us now, a man who finished with 25 points and 13 assists, James Harden. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. James, you were on a team in OKC that went to the NBA Finals with KD and Russ. You were now on a team in Houston that's knocked on the door in the Western Conference the last couple of years. You added CP3 this year. You guys are playing terrific. Do you feel like this is the best team that you've been on that has a legitimate chance to win it all? Uh, for sure. You know, I think we have the depth. Uh, we have the playmaking ability. Uh, defensively, we have uh, more than enough. Um, to compete with, you know, obviously the defending champion. So uh, easier said than done. Uh, we got the rest of the season to kind of catch our rhythm, um, but we definitely got a chance. James, Paul Pierce here, man. Uh, by the way, great game. Love what you've been Appreciate doing this year, man. I love watching you play. You know, the last, you, the last three years, you've really put Houston on the map. Uh, you've come up short of the MVP. In my eyes, you should have at least one MVP in the bag. Do you feel like this is the year you get over that hump? Hey, P, man, I'm just, uh, you know, as long as my name is in that in that conversation every single year, I feel like I'm doing something right, you know. Yeah. And so uh, just try to put my, put my name in that conversation, rack up as many wins as I can, uh, or as we can, and um, and prepare for the playoffs. But, uh, you know, this is the first time, I think, since I've been in Houston where I feel like we got a legit, you know, chance uh, with the depth we have uh, from, from top to bottom. Well, keep doing what you're doing. You got my vote. Appreciate James, you, this is a very important question. This will be harder than any question you're about to wow. get in the locker room from these <laughs> reporters. Wow. Tomorrow is the day of the big draft. You want to be on Team Steph or you want to be on Team LeBron? Let's oh. hear your case. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> no, honestly, I'm just uh, I'm, 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 I'm more than appreciative to be a part of the game, man. Uh, I think it's kind of cool for you know it to have two captains and kind of you know pick the teams. So whoever team I represent, I'm gonna try to put on a show and have fun. A professional dodge. That was, that was, it was perfectly executed. No, it was perfect. Me. It was perfect. He was not politically correct answer. answer. He's not stupid. He's not going to give you guys any ammo. Thanks, James. Congrats for coming. Representing the lefties. <laughs> right. By the way, you didn't even mention that you drafted him. Lefty, right. Thanks. Appreciate y'all. Thanks, James. All right. Yeah, he's not. He's not. Proud member of Team Jalen. Yes, indeed. Very political. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't mention song. that to him, by Very the way. Very political. I oh, like gonna... that, though. I like him. I like how far he's gone as a player. A media training. The court. It definitely <laughs> it's a, media a skill. You know, if that was me, I was like, yeah, I deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> this should have been my more, third MVP. No question. But one